Hey mi gente, welcome back to my cocina. Today we're going to be doing something different. I'm actually going to use an air fryer and going to make some fried chicken. It's actually my first time, so uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay, as always, I go through the setup. Uh, so here's the air fryer uh, with the racks that we're going to be using. Um, already got some flour, two cups of flour, some eggs, paprika, garlic powder, oregano leaves, and of course your average salt and pepper. Uh, in the meantime, I'm also going to be making some yellow rice. That's going to be good. And the other thing you want to make sure is that you pat dry your chicken. Uh, pat dry it as best as you can. And then we're going to put it into the air fryer. Alright, so first things first is we're going to go ahead and take the chicken. I put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, not too much. And what we're going to be doing we're going to be adding it. So I'm only doing six pieces. We're going to do three there. And then the other three we're going to put on there. Now, once you get this done, you're going to want to take about a half a cup of water and just going to throw it in there on the side. Okay. Next, we're going to put our pressure lid. You want to make sure that it locks into place and leave that on. And what we're going to do... We're going to switch this to pressure. And we'll leave it on high. And we're going to bring them down to only two minutes. And start. Now this is going to take about a total of eight minutes total because it's going to build the pressure up in there and then it's going to pressurize that for two minutes and we'll see the results. All right, in the meantime, while that is cooking, I'm just going to tell you we got two cups of flour. I'm going to be putting one cup of cornstarch, uh, one tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of garlic powder, and two tablespoons of oregano. You can tell that the paprika is kind of paprika is mixed up a little bit. There's a little secret ingredient in there. It's actually a couple secret ingredients, which I can't give away or else it'll be like that sentence but <laughs> that's all right and then i got the uh eggs in here that we're going to use to dredge the chicken in all right we're coming down to the last uh few seconds here all right and then we're going to let that escape and it's going to take uh, about a minute all right so it's done you want to make sure to turn it and when you lift the lid lift it at an angle do not lift it straight up you want to make sure that None of that pressure gets out. And there's your chicken. So what we actually did is we kind of cooked it a little bit internally. And now we're going to flip it and air fry it. Okay, so uh, I got the whole flour mix here. Got the eggs here. Uh, quick note, if you want to make this spicy, this is where you want to add your Tabasco sauce, um, whatever you want to use uh, in there. Uh, we got the air frying basket in there, and we're going to actually spray it. And then we're going to go ahead and take our chicken. And place it inside. Of course, uh, one step we've got here is we've got to dredge the chicken. And then, once you're done with that, we're going to take it and put it in the egg wash. And then back into the flour. Then we got five more pieces, so rinse and repeat. Okay, guys, so uh, we got the chicken in there. We put about four pieces in there. Now we're going to close the lid, pop this on. We're going to go to air crisp. 
Okay, and we're going to set the temperature to 400 and the time to about 10 minutes. Now here's one uh, thing that I want you guys to do. So I want you to make sure at five minutes, let me start it off. You go ahead and open it up and flip the chicken. If you still see some flower spots, take your cooking spray, olive oil, canola oil, um, corn oil, whichever one of those three, and you'll spray those spots, okay? And now we'll wait to see. All right, we're at the uh, half minute mark here. We're gonna go ahead and take the chicken and flip them over. And as you can see, there are some flower spots there, so we're gonna kind of spray that. All right, folks, and there you have it, nicely cooked fried chicken. Served on a nice plate with a bit of yellow rice. And then any other type of uh, accompaniments, so some avocados or maybe a salad, tomatoes. Um, but that is all, and we're gonna take one quick look at the inside. All right, we can see here. Very well, very well done. And for flavor test. That and some good fried chicken. Hey guys, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, this is one of the most exciting things that I've done. Uh, I've only done two things in this uh, ninja cooker, but I uh, definitely recommend the uh, chicken. Thanks guys for watching.